So the best way to explain paragraphs is by looking at the problem first. So here I've got the bootstrap site and you can go to it by going to getbootstrap.com. Now, how would you build this site using Drupal? So you have this hero section here that has a bit of text. You have a title and then you have a grid section here. Then you have another component section with a title and another grid. Now, notice how in this design, everything's broken out into separate components or separate paragraphs. Now, if I was to build something like this using paragraphs, I could create a paragraph type called hero image or jumbotron if I was using the bootstrap term. Or here I could create a paragraph type with a title and a body field and then you can reuse it throughout the whole section. And then to handle the grid, well that, that's a bit more complex. I mean you could do that in CK editor or you could create a whole separate paragraph type for it. So to answer the question, what paragraphs does is that it allows a site builder to break out the content into separate components or paragraph types and simply add fields to these paragraphs. Now, under the hood, a paragraph is just an entity type and your paragraph types are just bundles. And you can attach fields to them the same way as you can to any other entity type, like user, uh, content types, vocabulary, whatever you want. But this then allows an editor to create a basic page and say, okay, I want a hero image, done. They enter in a, they would simply enter in a paragraph type for, for, for the hero. Or if they, if they want to add image galleries, well then you just create a paragraph type for image galleries. If they want to add a grid, just create a paragraph type for grid. So what I want to, what I want to do now is simply create a basic paragraph type using a vanilla Drupal 8. So here I've got my stock standard Drupal 8 site and I've already gone ahead and downloaded and installed paragraph types, but to use, to download paragraphs, all you need is paragraphs module, of course, and the entity reference, sorry, the entity reference revisions module, and that's it. So once you have it installed, all you need to do is go to structure, paragraph types and just click on paragraphs types and now enter in the label for your paragraph type or components, whatever you want to call it. So I'll create one called content and now we need to enter in the fields. Notice how these tabs look familiar. That's because now, now in Drupal 8 and also Drupal 7, if something's an entity, especially a fieldable entity, you will get the standard manage fields, manage form display and manage display. So let's just add in two fields. We'll add in a text field for the title and a body field for the body. So for the body field, text formatted long. Okay. We'll leave the form as is, that's perfectly fine. And we'll just remove the label. I mean, who actually uses labels? Anyway, I'm sure somebody uses them. Okay. So right now we have created our paragraph type. Now to attach it to an article or a basic page, we need to add a paragraph field to a content type. So to do that, let's just go to structure, content types, and let's add it to basic page. So to add a paragraph field, again, it's the same as adding in any type of field. Just click on add a new field and you should see reference revisions, just select paragraph. And I'll call this paragraphs. You can call it whatever you want. Just call it paragraphs. And make sure type of item to reference is paragraph. That's important. And make sure allowed number of values is set to unlimited. Unless, of course, you want to allow one paragraph. 
And down here, if we had multiple paragraph types, you can actually choose which one appears in this particular field. If, if none are selected, then all are available. In our case, there's only one paragraph type, we'll just leave it. So just click on Save Settings. And over here, you can control the widgets. We'll look at this in more detail later on, just update it for now, and let's just save it. And if we go to Manage Display, let's just hide the label. Okay, let's now create a basic page. Uh, test page. And down here, you can see this one button, Add Content. That's because we only have a single paragraph type. So if I click on Add Content, Title 1, Body 1, oh, very original, and let me just create another one, and Body 2. Okay. Let's hit save. Now you can see that our content paragraphs are rendering. If you want to reorder them, just simply reorder them. And you can move them up, up to the top and click on save and publish. And then you can easily just, as, as you can see, it's very easy to move uh, paragraph types around. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to configure this paragraphs widget. Now, as you can see, this page is pretty big with just two paragraph, two with just two paragraphs. Now, imagine if there's ten paragraphs on a particular page, and I've worked on sites that have even more paragraphs. This page will end up being very long, and it can be hard to click and drag paragraph types around. So, the next thing I want to show you is the edit mode. I think it's called the edit mode. So let me open up another tab and I'll go back to the paragraphs widget. Yes, it is called edit mode. Okay, so this option, edit mode. By default, it's open. And what that means is that the paragraph type renders or the paragraph renders the fields using its widgets. So you can easily come in here and modify it. But as I mentioned, if you have a lot of paragraphs, this can be difficult to order. And also the page takes a lot longer to load. So what we can do is set the edit mode to closed. And if I do that and hit save, that means everything is collapsed. But the problem is you don't know what's in this paragraph. Just imagine, again, you had 10 paragraphs and you were looking for one particular paragraph, but you have five paragraphs which are text and another two which are call to action or something. You would have to manually go into every single paragraph and go, oh, wait, that's it, and then move it up. Again, it's not that useful. It's a good option, but just be aware of that limitation. But this does make it easier to move things around. The other option, which I find a lot more useful, is preview. So what this does, as the name suggests, it does offer a preview of the paragraph. So let me save this and hit refresh and you see a preview. Now, you can modify this preview and that's and that's the best part of this is that the preview well especially how the preview is generated so the way it's actually generated is if we go into paragraph types and go to manage display all it's doing is rendering the paragraph using the preview view mode so if you want to modify the preview just enable the preview view mode, make sure you click preview up the top here and then just add extra fields or remove them. It's up to you. Let's say we want to, let's say we don't want to display the body field because the body field can have a lot of content in there. You could simply disable it and then click on save and then 
If we update it, you'll see that you only have the title and that's it. 